So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing the time that a straight guy walked in on me having gay sex. If you guys are ready to hear this story, don't forget to smack that subscribe button down here and give this video a like and let's get started. So before all the haters start commenting, this is a typical fuckboy, gay guy, slut, fucking story time that everyone always comments my videos now with my story times. Um, this was my boyfriend that I was dating for two years, so I don't know, it was like a pretty serious relationship. We were literally like relationship goals. We had like names for each other's penises. We did everything together. We were like cute as fuck. But we obviously weren't relationship goals because we're not together. But at the time, we were relationship goals. Actually, I think he's the only ex that doesn't hate me, even though he did hate me for a little bit, but I was a fucking psycho. But I mean like, aren't we all psychos? <laughs> Also, the people who are subscribed, like, back in 2011, like, way back in the day, you guys probably know who this is, because I used to make videos with him. They're not on here anymore. And, um, also, I used to, like, post cute Tumblr pictures with him. Oh, by the way, I texted him and asked if I could tell the story, and he was totally cool with that. He literally laughed, and then we talked about it for, like, a solid 20 minutes. Anyways, let's just get into the story, because it happened, and I'm about to own up to it. For the sake of the story, we're just gonna say my boyfriend's name is Justin, because... I wanted to give him a name that wasn't his real name. So Justin lived in another state. He went to school where I live in Ohio, but he lived in a different state. So after classes were out for the summer, he had to go back home because he lived in the dorms. So basically every couple weeks, I would like take a train to New Jersey where he lived and he would come pick me up and then I would take a train back to Ohio and go home. And then when he would come visit me, he would take a train to Ohio and then I'd pick him up from the train station and then go back after a couple days. So this particular week, it was my turn to go to New Jersey, and he was gonna go pick me up, and yeah. I literally just remember being like so excited to see him because we hadn't seen each other in like, I think it was probably a month, like we hadn't seen each other. It was like the longest we had gone without seeing each other. And we were just texting about how excited we were, and it was just, ooh, I was so excited on that train, I remember. I literally, actually, I took a picture and Instagrammed it. I'll probably put the picture right here if I still have it, or if, Whatever, because it's just a funny story. But I ended up taking a picture with this girl sitting next to me on the train before I got there and sent it to him and I ended up Instagramming it because I'm a fucking social media whore. That was the time I was really excited on the train and all I remember was being so excited to see my boyfriend. So I kind of remember like he picks me up at the train station and we get to his house, which is like five minutes away, ten minutes away. I just remember we go inside, his mom's not home, so we start off on the couch, we're just like cuddling and kissing and being all cute and being like, oh my god, I missed you so much, this is so great, we're together after all this time, woo! <laughs> being all cute and one thing led to another and we decide we wanna fuck, it's been a month. This happens in relationships, guys, I promise. I'm not a whore, but there's nothing wrong with being a whore if you are. I love you, if you're a whore. So him and his older brother share a room, so he tells me that we should go into his mom's room. So we ended up having sex in his mother's bed, and I was topping. <laughs> and to all the haters that's like, oh my god, this femme piece of shit is topping, blah blah blah. Like, I have so many haters on my story time videos. Like, they, they either A, don't believe my stories, B, call me like the most feminine piece of trash, whatever. I was topping. Mask for mask, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so awkward. But no, um, anyways, I was topping, he was bottoming, obviously. The next thing I remember, halfway into it, I hear the door open, and I turn. Oh my god, wait, can I, like, act this out for you guys? I'm topping, I'm like... And he's, he's right here on his back. And I hear his older brother open the door behind me. And I turn, his brother's like, oh god, I'm sorry. I literally made direct eye contact with him as I'm having sex with his brother. And he's like, oh shit, man, like, I'm so sorry, and like, slams the door. And then me and him, like, I looked at him, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Your brother just watched you basically get fucked. And I don't know, we kind of just like laughed about it and made jokes about it, and I was like, I promise. It'll be okay. Oh, it was so awkward because me and him had to go downstairs after and talk to his brother because his brother was going on a trip with us to Canada. Going downstairs was awkward at first because he, what he just walked in on. Like we had to fucking confront it eventually. So we went downstairs like 10 minutes later, awkwardly. So yeah, two, we had to spend the whole weekend with him 
and he made jokes about us all weekend to his girlfriend. At least he wasn't a douchebag about it. He is accepting of the gays. But it's actually really cool about it. <laughs> Which is good. Thank God his mom never found out about what happened because if she did, I'm pretty sure I would never be allowed over again. And I was over many times after that. So that's my story about how a straight guy walked in on me having gay sex. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment if you've ever been walked in on or anything crazy because I would love to know. So don't forget guys, be bold, be brave, and break brownies. I love you guys so much. Stay awesome. Bye. Hey, what's up you guys? It's your dad and I'm here with my best friend James. What's up guys? I'm James. And today we are going to be doing a little